guys, Blue Jays 11 here. Welcome back to another video. Guess what? I'm back. Finally. Um, just past about a month, or past like three weeks, I've had uh, baseball tryouts. Um, and that's been taking up a lot of my time, and I've been focusing a lot on school. Grades are coming up quite a bit, so that's pretty good. And, um, I'm just focusing more on life away from YouTube. And it's, it's pretty good, but it's kind of stressful when one of your best friends comes up to you and says, Hey, Morgan, did you quit YouTube? That's how you know you've been away for, like, too long. So I tried to make some videos, but, like, I wasn't liking them. So, I just posted, like, the videos that were okay. I mean, like, the one where I was snowmobiling, that one, that's all the footage I got that day. Because once I got out in the field, it was too deep, because it's been, like, minus 30 the past past month before. So I haven't been able to ride. And then, once it became warm enough to ride, I have tryouts, so I wasn't able to. And then, I wasn't able to ride because of, and like, I have tryouts today. I don't think I have any tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm going to get to go out. But, all the snow is melting. Like, it's supposed to be 10 degrees on Tuesday. Everything's melting. So, I'll just try to get out riding as fast as I can. But, anyway, in this video, we're going to... I had some comments on my video on how to get rid of bubbles in your baseball glove. And I'm going to try to like do a redo on this and just show how it works. So yeah, I'm just going to do that and uh, show the video. So yeah, here we go. So here's the glove. Um, so as you can tell, looking at the palm, it's not in the greatest shape. It's my old, old glove. I've been using it a lot more lately because of tryouts, because my other one's not ready. Actually, I think my next video will be an update on that. But So yeah, if you want to get rid of bubbles in your baseball glove, you're going to want to make or buy a mallet and beat the crap out of the palm. If that, you just do that a couple of times, then dunk underneath hot water like really hot water not quite boiling bo boiling but really hot to get everything so loose and then you can form it and then it'll become hard I'll film that right now actually no I will not because I have tried today and I don't want my glove to be wet um, I guess I'll perform it on a different glove this glove is a crappy glove that my school gave me because, like, they bought new gloves, um, so they wanted to get rid of their old ones. And this one's still crappy, so. Beat up the palm, then heat it up with hot water, underneath hot water, form the palm, and then let it sit for about a day, and then it'll be really hard. So if you ever want to, like, reform your glove at all, just put it underneath hot water um, and let it sit. Yeah. Okay. So you just want to put a bunch of hot water over it. Everywhere, just put it all over the glove. You could also break in your glove this way. I actually do not recommend though. So yeah, you just do that. And then form your glove, let it sit. And yeah, that that's it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm I'm going to try to make more videos now. Um, 
now that tryouts are pretty much over, I think I have lots of time to do it, so that'll be great. Um, I'm just going to try my best to do as many videos as I can with great quality. I am writing up a short film right now to make with a bunch of my friends. That probably won't come out for like a couple, probably not until the summer. I'm not sure, um, because I'm still in the writing stage, and then I gotta get all the permission stuff, because we're children, so you have to get permission from all their parents with, like, a form and stuff, and then have, like, a bunch of days to film food. I think I might start doing Kickstarter for it, I don't know, yeah anything like that just to help out with the film anyway that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this is blue jays 11 signing off